Hello, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of August 14th to the 20th, 2023. First, you have round and round coming out, and the number 25 may be significant for some of you. I am seeing cycles repeating in your life, and you may not be consciously paying enough attention to these cycles. For example, uh, relationships are a good example. It's like, do you keep attracting the same situation over and over and over again, or playing the same, the same old song and dance with the same person over and over and over again? This is something that you may want to consider breaking out of. Um, work with spiral energy. Uh, we see the spiral, the sacred spiral, in many places in the universe, in the shape of shells, the galaxies. This shape comes up a lot, and the spirit of this can teach us a lot. So um, there is a technique that some people do where they will create a spiral on the ground using rocks or twigs, and as they go in to the spiral and they walk in this spiral fashion, they kind of reach the center and just let go of these old stories and fears and habits and relationships that they keep repeating over and over and over again. And then as they walk back out, they feel the energy of just being fresh, rejuvenated and a new start, a new cycle for life can begin. Next, we have doubt coming up for you. And it says, offering all to the divine doesn't mean that negativity never arises. So let's unpack that first sentence right there. When you offer all to the divine, you're saying, universe, use me for the highest good of the planet. Use my creativity, my empathy, my wisdom, my skills to be of value to other people and to support other people so that they may support others and so on and so forth. That's a light worker's way of setting intentions in life for the highest good. Now, just because the universe may be speaking through you and you may be the spiritual being does not mean that you're never going to have doubts and you're never going to experience negativity. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. This is something you can ask the universe. Free me from my doubt. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. So what that means is asking the universe, what is the plan that you have for me? The plan of success, the plan of prosperity. What is that plan? Show it to me and bring me back to a place of confidence and faith. In, in our connection with each other. So that way I'm no longer constantly having doubts and worries about what's gonna happen in the future. That's something you can ask the universe and the universe will deliver, I promise you. Next, we have door to spirit in reverse. <laughs> exactly, Pisces. This came out for cancer as well. And I really do feel like um, you could be asking the universe a lot more, communicating a lot more. And that doubt card is a really good example of something you should be asking the universe. So you're, yeah, you're being asked to do some spiritual healing work this week and connect with your guides, connect with the universe, speak out loud, especially like do any spiritual practices that just help make you more zen, more centered and peaceful and focused, such as going for daily walks or doing yoga and intuitive stretching, uh, meditations, Reiki sessions, tarot readings, whatever you do, praying, whatever you do personally to connect um, whatever activity you do that makes you feel very clear-minded again, like, okay, I know the plan, I know the path, I know what I gotta do, I'm feeling refreshed, I'm feeling good. For me, this is even cleaning. Like, when I clean my bathroom and sweep the floors and scrub things, like, it's like going to church. I don't go to church. That is my church, okay? <laughs> so, whatever you do for that, do it this week. Nine cards out, three rows of three from the after tarot. First card is the two of swords in reverse, okay? I'm actually seeing like a stagnant situation that's not going to go anywhere, okay? And this is something that perhaps you've been repeating these cycles with over and over and over again, you know? It's not going to go anywhere, Pisces. So whatever your intuition is thinking of when we say this message, listen to it. That's what I would say. Second card out, we have the queen of wands in reverse. Mmm. I'm getting a sense of control issues here popping up, creeping up. Control issues with the universe itself and needing to know exactly how things are going to plan out. 
or pan out, that's fine, but you're being asked to, I'm almost seeing like nurture yourself more and take more hands-on actions and approaches to your life instead of trying to control the universe and say, universe, I want this, I want that, you know, manifest this and that for me. Take on a more hands-on active approach and actually, you know, get your hands dirty and taking actions towards your dreams or if you're in a leadership position like you're a manager of some sort or business owner of some sort where you are leading others uh this might be a week where you're being asked to get down and dirty and do the work alongside your employees and show them the way that you want things to be done and help help them build confidence and leadership skills so that they could do this even when you're not around the queen of wands in reversed uh, you know actually it could be the opposite for some of you as well i'm hearing you might be a micromanager and have a hard time letting go of that control but if you have capable employees or capable people that you're working with even this could be in the family setting as well like you you just have to build that trust with the right people you know trust that your husband is going to take out the trash trust that your wife is going to pick the kids up from school trust that your mom is going to show up to the party on time i don't know if there are capable people around you you need to work together to help build more trust amongst you two okay like here's what my boundaries are here's what i need from you now now that we know that and it's very clear and it's outlined we need to work on building this trust so that there's no more doubts there's no more worries okay and a part of that may be kind of stepping back a little bit you can even speak your fears with them like if this is a romantic relationship for example and this is someone new in your life speak like hey my past relationships i had these problems these issues and I, i'm really afraid that they're going to repeat again and set your boundaries you know and It'll be a process to learn to trust, but it'll be very clear to you that these people are capable. You know, it's not gonna be something where you're constantly let down. So I don't know, these are situations that may be popping up for you this week. Third card out is the Knight of Swords in reverse. There's something moving forward with a lot of speed here. Also, I wanna say there could be a prominent fire sign in your life, probably a woman. And that would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They may um, also be the one who is trying to build trust with you, okay? Like, this could be someone who has control issues, micromanaging issues, and there may need to be a conversation there. There could also be an air sign in your life, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But we do see things picking up pace quite rapidly and chaotically so i want to see what the card is underneath this and kind of see the second row here so let's get into it fourth card out is the two of pentacles in reversed right underneath the two of swords in reversed so mm, keep oh i'm seeing a cycle where you keep going around and around with the same person same issue over and over and over again constantly being let down this could be anyone in your life. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a coworker. It could be a boss. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. And Spirit's saying, like, when are you going to learn that this person isn't bad? Okay, they're not bad, evil person, but they may not be able to be trusted with these certain issues. And, you know, for example, my mother, <laughs> she never shows up to anything on time. Okay, I do not trust her to show up to things on time. That Does that make her a bad person? No. Does that mean I hate her? No. It's just there's a certain aspect of life I do not trust her with. And I feel like there's hard boundaries there too. It's like if, if I am going to a party for another family member, I'm not going to go with you because I don't want to be late. So having those boundaries in place, they're designed to protect you. They're not designed to hurt anyone else. It's like, okay, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing exactly what you're capable of and what you're not capable of. And here is where I can trust you. Here is where I cannot trust you. I feel like you need to have this conversation with yourself and possibly someone else because I just keep seeing the same problem over and over and over again, the same cycles repeating. And it's like the universe is saying, when are you going to establish boundaries? Like, 
it doesn't have to be this hard, difficult process that ends everything. And we understand like your feelings around this is, are complicated because this person's not bad, the situation's not bad, and you don't want to necessarily like cut it off, let it go. But like, what will help you here is boundaries and agreements. So it's something to think about. Center of your spread is the Nine of Wands, exactly. <laughs> so, some of you guys um, are really struggling this week to learn to trust again. So if this is like another situation coming in, like say you had to fire your last assistant for not doing their job and stealing from the company. Now you have a new assistant and you may notice yourself actually like micromanaging them and having these very untrusting behaviors around them, which aren't great, obviously. And it's like you're trying to overcome that and trying not to, you know, let this past um, betrayal or something that went wrong kind of let doubts and fears creep in your head. I, I feel like your key here is to face your fears head on and speak about them openly. And I think that will be your power, just speaking about these fears very openly. So that's what I want to say there. Yeah, this is a good week to speak to people and let them know what you're afraid of and where you may lack some trust and explain to them that you're trying to overcome this repetitive cycle and gain trust back up. You know, there might be something that you want to open up those doorways to conversation. Sixth card out for you is the lovers reversed. Okay, so this is a no answer. This is an ending. This is you saying, I do not want this. Mmm. You may... Okay. Alright. Some of you I'm seeing... You may have been in a situationship or friendship or something where it did go round and round, like we said, like the same issue over and over and over again. And, you know, you might, some of you might be at the point where the boundary is just not letting this person entirely into your life. Like if you can't trust the person as a whole, that's when it becomes an issue. Like it's one thing if like you can't trust someone to be on time, you know what I mean? Like that's just like whatever. All right, I'm not gonna trust you to be on time. But like if the issues that you can't trust them on keeps stacking up and piling up and it's another thing, like one after another, like, okay, well now I can't trust you to remember any important dates. And now I can't trust you to like take the trash out. And now I can't trust you to take accountability when I come to you with a problem. Like, you know what I mean? When there is more and more and more things you can't trust them on, it's like you just might not be able to trust this person as a whole. And at that point, it may be worth considering, should I just get rid of this situation, this person, this relationship for my life entirely? Because it would just be a lot less of a headache if I was by myself to begin with. Um, also, the longer they dwell in my life, the more that delays um, something new from coming in here. And honestly, I'm, I am definitely seeing a situation here, especially with the Two of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Swords reversed, where someone may not be pulling their weight and wanting to take accountability and work towards this thing with you or the, or like do their job almost. I, I keep coming back to career messages. Someone may literally just not be wanting to work and do their job and they're making you pick up the slack. Like, it's like, okay, well, you keep showing up late and I have to pick up your slack. Like, we have to get things done by a certain time. You're not here. I'm doing work for me and you. Like, that's annoying. And it may not be something that you fire them over at first, but then it's like another thing comes up. Like, oh, and now, like, you injured your ankle and you're refusing to do... Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, like, to the point where I think you're considering just, like, you know what, is this even worth it to keep you here <laughs> third row out seventh card we have the hanged man coming through and this is interesting i'm seeing you seeing things from a brand new perspective also i am seeing you getting some help and reassurance from someone so someone's reassuring you interesting card next to that knight of cups beautiful 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 love creative fulfillment moving forward okay it's interesting we start off this week with like this doubt this fear this worry like 
uh, this micromanaging almost like can you be this person for me like can you do this like will this work out universe will i get the money that i need will this happen will that happen and now you're kind of seeing things from a new perspective someone's going to help you out give you some reassurance here um especially if you decide to have an open honest authentic conversation and we see things moving along swimmingly final card out is the ace of wands in reversed okay Ooh, interesting stuff. Um, it feels like, I'm going to be honest, I feel like some of you, oh, there's so much going on. Some of you may be holding out a little bit of hope for an ex to change or possibly reconcile or for something to come through that's not going to happen. Like you're almost hoping that someone will change and they won't. And, th and this could happen in like so many different circumstances, like family, if someone in your family has an addiction, it just keeps like, I hope they'll change. I hope the cycle won't repeat. And you're really like living off of hope in that connection instead of radically accepting them for where they're at. And I, I feel like that's what you need to do here. Radically accept people for where they're at in the present moment, not for what you think they could do or how happy things could be if it changes or evolves or they do this or that. Radically accept this present moment for exactly what it is and stop holding out hope for someone to just magically change overnight. That's what I want to say here. Um, some of you may be going against <laughs> your, it may feel unnatural, okay? Because your hormones, or you might even have a trauma bond here with this person. And that's trying to keep you locked in uh, to this unpredictable, hanging on to hope energy that you share with someone. And spirits saying like, try your best to view things exactly how they are in the present moment, you know? Um, I feel like that's what you need to do here. And that is what is going to lead you forward in personal emotional fulfillment in creativity and productivity and in your love life, if this correlates with your love life. So thank you guys for joining me, Pisces. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get the fullest overview of the week ahead. Bye-bye.